Hi everyone and welcome back to another weekend reading vlog. Today is actually a bumper edition because it's the Easter bank holiday weekend in the UK which means we have Friday and Monday off as well. So it's kind of like a really nice long weekend and the weather is glorious as you can see because I'm being blinded by the sun and in terms of what's on the cards this weekend hopefully a bit of reading that is the goal so i am currently reading law by alexandra bracken i have mentioned this in quite a few videos in the past in terms of i put this on my april tbr and probably my march tbr as well but i didn't get around to reading it in march so we're going to try and read this in april and i'm already a few chapters in i'm on page 53 and this book isn't really hooking me at the moment it's quite unique in premise. It is basically a modern day kind of Greek mythology inspired um, urban fantasy essentially. So it's basically about the original Greek gods and goddesses and as punishment for something they did to Zeus I think. They basically are sent to earth every seven years and they basically get hunted by humans and if you as a human like kill a god you get to assume their power so there are basically like generations of these gods and their kind of human you know descendants essentially so it's a really interesting premise it's not a premise that i fully understand yet and i don't really kind of i don't know there's something like stopping me from fully understanding the premise to this um it is quite confusing but i really do like alexandra bracken's writing style and i really like the main character law so i'm hoping that this will end up being a good read but so far i'm not like vibing with it that much which is a shame another thing i need to do today that i just remembered is i want to create a new basically like a new youtube intro and outro um annoyingly the one that i usually use it like the song that i thought was royalty free is suddenly being picked up by like the copyright claim on youtube which is really really frustrating if you're a youtube creator you'll know the constant battle of royalty free music and i think i just need to get all my music now from the YouTube kind of audio library instead of just trying to find what apparently is royalty free music and then it turns out not to be. So I'm actually feeling like mixing it up and just creating a brand new set of intro and out outros and I don't know like I'm not the like the most creative like I'm not the most kind of visually creative if that makes sense. So kind of like intros and outros, I always just deliberate over for ages until I find one that I'm kind of happy with and create one I'm happy with. So I'm gonna try and do that. We will see how far I get. Um, hopefully you'll be seeing a new intro and outro on my channel very, very soon, but I don't know. I'm kind of waiting to feel inspired about it. Guess who has spent the last few hours doing no reading and instead playing Dragon Age? me and i have no regrets guys when i tell you that i'm obsessed with this game honestly you have no idea so it's dragon age inquisition and i'm not usually like a massive like video game person but like oh this game is filling all of my like fantasy needs right now um anyway it is currently about half six i poured myself a glass of sauvignon blanc blanc however you pronounce it, wine, and we're just going to have a nice chilled evening. I am supposed to be meeting up with a friend tomorrow to go for a springtime walk around London, and I don't know, like, I'm just feeling very excited to be back in the centre of London again. Like, obviously, I will be taking precautions, and I will be staying safe and masked and everything also all the shops are closed like nothing's open apart from coffee shops so we'll probably just get a coffee and then just walk around really but i'm still just really looking forward to kind of being back in the center of london like it'll be very strange because i haven't properly been in the center of town for a long long time i kind of live on the suburbs a little bit so i'm not in central london um but I'm excited it'll be really nice and anyway I just wanted to let you know that no reading has been done a lot of video gaming has been done 
I'm just obsessed, what can I say? So I'll check in with you guys later when hopefully some reading will be done, fingers crossed. It is Saturday. I have basically just woken up today, got ready, and I'm about to go on my walk with my friend. I thought I'd just give you guys a quick check-in on where I am with reading. So I did not do any reading yesterday. Yesterday was a little bit of a fail in terms of reading, but in terms of Dragon Age Inquisition, I finished that game. I must have played like six hours of that game yesterday. Guys, when I tell you, it just hits all the same, like, kind of emotional points for me as it does, like, a fantasy book like Sarah J Maas or, like, I don't know, like, some really epic fantasy. That was all I needed in my life. Oh, my God, the ending was incredible. So, I've kind of had my video game fixed for the weekend, and now that i finished that, I can kind of devote more time to reading. So... This morning, I actually just sat and ate my avocado on toast, like any old millennial, and read some more of Lore. So I'm now on page 67 of this book. This book is 466 pages, so I have 400 pages to read if I want to read this by the end of the weekend. So as this is obviously a bank holiday weekend in the UK, which means we have Friday, we had Friday off and we had Mon and we have Monday off. I don't know where to keep this vlog going until the Monday because that will give me more time to read this book and it means that hopefully you will be able to kind of hear my final thoughts about this when I do finish it. Reading 200 pages a day, especially when I have plans like today, I don't know if that's doable, but we will try. I do want to really try and read 200 pages of this today, see if I can. One thing to note is like, yes, it is quite confusing and I did kind of say in yesterday's clips that a lot of the kind of like world building isn't quite luring me in like i don't fully understand everything like how it works like the whole kind of like killing a god every seven years means that you get that god's power and it's just like really interesting like one of the original gods athena has just turned up and law is like working with her to basically protect her i guess and also protect herself because athena has warned law that people are going to be after her because she is the last remaining perseid per perseid basically she's the last remaining descendant of perseus so in terms of like that side of things like the plot is super interesting but like i'm not hooked yet like i'm not in it you know i don't fully get it i love law's best friend miles he is I think he's gonna end up being like the comedic relief because he doesn't understand this world and he is just like a mortal guy who just hearing about this for the first time and like is kind of like the reader he's like what the hell is this crazy world <laughs> like what's happening so i think he's going to be quite a fun character to explore um the world you know and see his kind of point of view um but i am enjoying it so far i just need more time to really kind of you know devote to it basically anyway i also got a parcel and i have no idea what's in this parcel so i thought i'd do a little bit of a unboxing for you guys because i haven't done an unboxing in ages and i've just ripped off the wooden bit so that's helpful i actually don't know what this is and oh it's a hardback what is it oh cool okay so i did get an email from the publisher about this this is The Wolf Den by Elodie Harper. So it's quite fitting because I think this is also inspired by mythology. So this was kindly sent to me from Head of Zeus and this is out on the 13th of May. And it says, sold by her mother, enslaved in Pompey's brothel, determined to survive. Her name is Amara, welcome to The Wolf Den. This is amazing. So it's the first in a trilogy of novels, reimagining the lives of women who have been overlooked. Perfect for fans of Pat Barker's The Science of the Girls and Madeline Miller's Circe. So this sounds incredible. Why do I think this is like inspired by Roman mythology? Either way, 
this sounds incredible and what a stunning book so thank you to head of loose for kindly sending me that one i'm very very excited so hi everyone i'm currently sitting in st james's park which is lovely um annoyingly my kindle did not charge before i left the house so that kind of means i did not do any reading on the tube feel like it was a little bit of a wasted journey in that sense but it's fine we'll do more reading when i get home um but yeah this is st james's park behind me it's very very lovely i've just had a coffee and probably gonna go on a bit of a walk grab some food lily do you want to say hi nah <laughs> <laughs> nah not for me <laughs> So it's now Saturday evening and I've had a really nice day, except this evening has just been, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like it's been such a waste of an evening, even though it hasn't been a waste because it's been very productive. I basically edited and created my thumbnail and scheduled my video that is going live tomorrow, so it's going to be my April TBR, which will already be live by the time you're seeing this. Um, but I've literally been sat in the same position for about five hours. I even ate in that position, the exact same position. Um, basically, my, I think I mentioned this, like, I might have mentioned this in yesterday's clip, but my external hard drive where I saw, saw all of my videos on has broken, so I had to order another one. So I had to transfer all of my videos from that old external that the broken external hard drive onto the new one and the reason why the old one is broken is because it will only like connect to my computer if it's in a very specific way like the cable is in a very specific way so i had the cable jammed against my hip and the couch just to kind of like make it stay in one position and connect and transfer all of my data and files over Hence why I was in the same position for five hours. So I was like, whilst all this transfers, I may as well edit and schedule tomorrow's video. So that's what I did. So it has meant I've done no reading tonight, which I'm really annoyed at because the goal was to read 200 pages today. Like, I don't know, guys. I feel like this is a massive, massive fail. However, it is now quarter to 11 at night and i'm just about to get into bed and i'm going to start reading law i've also made myself a like a peppermint tea and i've got some chocolate truffles here living our best lives it is quite late so i don't want to stay up like too late because i know that i've got a lot of reading tomorrow to do so i don't want to exhaust myself by just like staying up all night basically morning everyone i say morning it's currently like 1 p.m anyway it is easter sunday today and looking forward to a very very chilled very very like low effort sunday basically um so we're gonna go on a little walk now around our local park and then i intend to literally just sit on the couch all day and read essentially Last night I was super tired, so I didn't read much at all. I'm now on page 83 out of 460. So this reading vlog isn't going the best, but I do intend to read a good 200 pages today. And tomorrow, which is Easter Monday, I am going on another walk with my friend. This like weekend is all about the walks. <laughs> I don't really know why, um, but I do intend to kind of like read after I get back from that. In terms of law, I'm a bit kind of conflicted, I think, because whilst I am enjoying the fact that it's, you know, kind of a nice blend between Greek myths and like urban fantasy, I just am not convinced by the premise of like humans obtaining the powers of the gods and it's just kind of like very very confusing i feel like the world building is kind of being a little bit info dumpy at the minute like one thing that keeps coming up in the current scene that i'm reading is our main character keeps doing things and then being like kind of explaining them after so she'll do something and be like 
oh yes and the tattoo which you know I applied earlier which I know is the tattoo of this house of Achilles or something you don't see her put on the tattoo earlier and it's just kind of like there and it's just kind of like explained in a in less than a sentence like in terms of like the world building it's not kind of the most detailed and I can understand because like I think it's very very high action and I feel like the author definitely is trying to get us to a place where the plot can properly start so I do feel like the plot properly hasn't started yet I feel like the main central premise hasn't been set up so I feel like you know that's probably why there is that kind of rushed you know kind of way of explaining the background of certain you know houses of these gods but it does annoy me when like that happens when it's kind of like something is brought up into the into the plot where it's like oh yes and you know this symbol which this character told me earlier means this but you don't get you don't see that happening you don't see the character explain this part of the world building or the background for example i hope that's making sense i don't know if i am making sense but either way i'm a bit kind of like i'm not fully into this book yet and i will probably next update you guys on my reading progress when i'm about halfway through because i feel like until that point i'm not really giving any really like good um kind of feedback about the book apart from the fact that I don't really understand what's happening and it's a little bit convoluted and the world building isn't very developed yet. halfway through law guys i have opinions on this book and they're not great a lot of it is feeling very rushed and one thing that keeps annoying me is where the author is kind of just presuming and like kind of just for the sake of speeding up the plot just kind of like getting the character to do things and know things where it just doesn't really make sense so for example they're trying to get their way break their way into a rival kind of god's house so the house of odysseus i think and law our main character is like oh we can use the back entrance her other kind of friends on this mission are like oh how do you know that and she's like oh well i studied the plans back when I lived here and it's like why would you study the building plans like little things like that like maybe I'm just like missing the point and but it's really annoying me because she keeps no she keeps kind of just plucking these things out from nowhere and we're kind of as the reader just like oh okay guess she knows this then and guess we are just being lumped with this information I also don't really care about the plot I know that's really like bad but i'm 229 pages in and honestly i could take this book or leave it i am feeling very uninspired and unmotivated reading this and i don't really care too much about what happens <laughs> so i at the minute this is very much a two star read for me i'm not enjoying it as much as i really wanted to i i just the premise seems so good but then i think it's kind of where it falls apart is the fact that uh, i don't know i feel like maybe there's just too much information that the reader is just expected to know or 
just has to kind of keep up with and I just don't think the world building is as well done as it could be. Um, so as I said, I'm 229 pages in. I do really want to finish this book by the end of my time off. So that's tomorrow. And I'm just about to have a bath. So I know that I'll be able to read a good chunk of pages in the bath because that's just what I do. I'm just, <laughs> for some reason, I just really love to read in the bath. So we're going to do that and I'm hoping to read maybe 50 pages in the bath and then the rest of the pages tomorrow. Hi everyone, so I'm here in the exact same position I was in the last clip but it is a day later and I've just finished law. I have a lot of feelings. Um, one of the main feelings having finished this 466 page book is that there were just like a lot of plot holes, a lot of very like, just completely like, oh, isn't it lucky that this happened situations. However, before I go into kind of like the negatives about this book, I did think the positives were the characters. Loved the characters. I thought Law was an amazing main character. I really liked Miles and Van who were like the kind of side characters and then Castor, the love interest. I don't really feel like his character was as developed as the rest of them like he had a very specific problem that he needed to find out about himself so he had his own little plot line about discovering a secret about himself which you know literally the main plot is dealt with in the final few pages we're thinking oh maybe we'll get a really good answer to his problem and he remembered it in a dream and I was like right so you were just you know in a dream and it all got explained within one sentence this kind of big mystery about how he kind of got his powers and it all was explained in the sentence and I was like this is absolutely ridiculous I'm not going to tell you guys like what the actual specifics of the plot are and why like the you know kind of answer to his kind of problem but it was a bit ridiculous and I was kind of like I just I just don't really think it was a very strong um plot and also the main plot this book falls into the traps of doing something that I really really hate which is where I think to create some kind of like mystery or suspense you know the main character just omits details and then tells these details at the end of the book saying oh I kept this secret I didn't want to tell you because of this an example of this happening is like in Crescent City by Sergio Maz in House of Earth and Blood I feel like that's very very cleverly done um you know the main character kind of holds some parts of her past back the narrator holds some parts of the main character's past back so that it's more of a kind of like big moment when it is revealed this kind of plays into that as well and there is a big reveal of the main kind of plot like the main thing that they're looking for but it's just not satisfying at all and i just really struggle to care about a lot of the plot and it was just a long book for me to kind of trudge through and not enjoy so I'm just really disappointed because I have such high hopes because the premise is incredible you know an urban fantasy centered around ancient Greek myth it should be incredible right but something was just missing in this book and I think it was almost like the magic was missing like I think it did a very good job of um, presenting the, the Greek myths as very, very gritty, very, very bloody, which of course they are. But the magic was lost, you know, the kind of like epic heroes. I think that's what it was trying to do. But ultimately, there just wasn't any magic about this book. There wasn't any kind of like excitement or like hope and that's what really made me sad there was one plot point which completely baffled me which was to do with Gil who was kind of this father figure in Law's life I'm not going to tell you what that 
plot point was but basically that was the only kind of like big reveal where I was like oh my god this is actually quite shocking and I really can I don't know like it actually really shocked me and I really appreciated the plot twist everything else I didn't care about the main baddie in the book there is a big betrayal in the book didn't surprise me whatsoever kind of saw that coming from the beginning so there just wasn't a lot to kind of really keep me gripped and by the end I was just just desperate to get to the end for it to kind of be finished and for me to kind of get the answers I wanted but when I got the answers I wanted it just wasn't in a satisfyingly enough way and I felt like it was kind of a rush to a happy ending and if you've read this book you will know the last page where all the problems are just solved like that like it just doesn't work like that like surely it's not that easy you've gone through a whole book you know of all these issues around the Aegon and how these powers are passed down between gods and then just literally something which I won't say what is solved in the last page it really infuriated me guys I don't know if you can tell so that is it for this video this reading vlog thank you so much if you're watching up to this point I really really appreciate you clicking on this video and watching it and I really really hope you enjoyed it so do stick around for more of my videos and you will be able to hear more about law in my April wrap-up which will be coming very very soon thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video guys Bye.